Part of the balance to the soil is the life in the soil, and the seagulls, I mean, probably the one thing they're after is the earthworm. What MTO does and the organic groups do that we work with are really focused on that, that life force there. And so the, those birds are part of the system. Michigan Thumb Organics is a, a local cooperative that works to uh, uh, group and market farm production into, say, the larger market while also encouraging working with farms to uh, bring food into the local market also. For this cooperative, you, you have to have organic production. You can't have some transition that has to be separated and it has to be an organic plan. The organic made a whole lot of sense to us as we looked into it and we studied it and we, uh, we chose to go that route and uh, it's, it was the right thing to do. Uh, our farm is, is better off now than it was then. The healthy soil brings the whole system together. If your soil is balanced both uh, in a mineral aspect and in a biological aspect with the uh, correct bacteria and fungi populations, then things become easier. Basically the soil is life. Uh, soil and water, if you don't have healthy soil, you don't have healthy animals. By growing most of our own feed, uh, I haven't had a veterinary on a farm since 78, since we've got away from the chemicals, got away from, got away from everything else. And each year, you can tell as we're building the soil, we can see the differences and all of a sudden our crops are looking as good as theirs. So, I mean, when I was a kid, I'd walk the plow furrows with my father and grandfather and I'd see the worms in the soil. After I came back from college, we started using a lot of different pesticides. We didn't see those things. The life in the soil was not there, but it's back. And it comes back very fast when you start treating the soil correctly. And that's, that's where it all begins. 20, 000, We're operating as a, a you know, more of a conventional small cooperative, and there's, there's a voting process. The, the board can do business, but in general, we try to do business as a full meeting. As a cooperative, we work together whether we work somewhere. Soybeans tend, tend to be large, but corn corn is a big thing for us. Um, a lot of it goes for feed, some for food, all the way down to the specialty corns, the open pollinated corns, uh, wheat, spelt, oats. Um, clover seed, hay, azuki beans, uh, black turtle beans, navy beans. This is a very uh, good bean growing area in this area and so we are going to do some some commodity organics for other areas but the whole thing is to understand that you know any farmer that can raise navy beans or soybeans could also raise green beans and, and we should have a system there that would let that happen. Less than 15% of our local food in Michigan comes from Michigan. Um, but we're probably at the low ebb, and that's turning now. And, and even though it's got a ways to go, but we're, we're putting a higher percentage of food into our local market in a lot of different ways. And, and part of that's going to be done by MTO, too. People are very interested in, in what they eat and where it comes from. And also they're very interested in who's growing it. People are finally waking up to the point where, you know, local is important. And then freshness because of organics, uh, micronutrients, flavor, all those things go hand in hand. That's what quality is. Do I go to the farmer's markets every week and a lot of the people are very happy that we're there and they thank us over and over again. Local is always fresher than, than uh, being trucked in. Um, you can wait until it's actually ripe to where it's actually has more flavor, has more nutritional value because you can wait on a local level until your product is ready to be harvested. The more the big corporate food does its thing, the more it allows us to do our thing because that leaves that, that province of good food to us. We're, we're really focusing on local food. We, we, we'd have to admit that our our organic markets, as far as what we ship out, are, are, are very good markets. So we, we wouldn't necessarily have to do local food. Um, we just think it's a it's a it's a natural progression to integrate this local food in, while we do still do some commodity markets. The majority of my customers understand that the organic issues and the soil quality and the and the non chemicals all reverts back to their families, and that creates a healthier family for them to 
uh, live in. I, I think it's really exciting and I, and I think it's an opportunity for us to grow a quality product, a product that we can be proud of and a product that we're not scared to put into our bodies, you know, and not scared to ingest. The customers are catching up. They're, they're, they're seeing that not only is local, fresh, good flavor, but it's also good health. People are getting sick and they're starting to figure it out. You are what you eat. Oh, I think it's huge. I think it's, it's a point to where we are very sustainable on our farms, but also we can be we don't have to be threatened by the competition of conventional farming. People would prefer us than them. So we have a niche that is sustaining. Our farm is healthier. We're, we, we are healthier uh, because of it. And uh, it's also pushed us into a very diverse uh, sort of farming where we've, you know, we've uh, gone to a pasture-based uh, livestock system with our cattle. And we brought chickens into the, the, into the rotation. I just don't see where we're going, and and with with the conventional way, and and I think we, you know, both my boys played a lot of sports, and and whenever they got in trouble and were starting to lose, the coach says we got to get back to basics, and I, I think that's where we were starting to lose, and we're going back to basics, and it it does feel real good. I think it's the right. It just feels right. And we really think that our system of marketing and our progression would. Uh, um, stack up against any size or whatever type of marketing system that's going on in this country right now.